The Artifacts of Mount Independence and the Stories They Tell, a series of brief explorations of Revolutionary War artifacts from Mount Independence on Lake Champlain in Orwell, Vermont. I'm Jim Casco, here at Mount Independence State Historic Site in Orwell, Vermont. I have here on the tables artifacts that were found here on the mound. These are mostly construction implements. You'll see three spades, pretty much the same design and construction. It was a lot of digging. And this was the implement that was done, you know, that was used for the digging. We have what might be called a pick, actually a mattox, point for digging and a blade for cutting and scraping. We have three axe blades. This would have been a typical belt axe. And this, more like a camp axe. Both of these very likely factory made. By factory, I mean teams of workmen in a factory, turning these out at a fairly high rate. This, I think, is a felling axe in process. This would have been the steel part and the iron pole would have put, been put in here and the steel part brought back and forge welded onto the base of the axe. This actually has a stamped maker's mark on it. I don't know what that maker is, but This is a spike, basically a big clinch nail. Now these were made of iron. Iron is relatively soft. So this can be driven through maybe a couple panels, a couple beams, and the end bent over in order to fasten it in there. I have a couple of more spikes. They were made basically the same way, driven through a tapered hole and then the heads were formed with a hammer. Small nails were all made the same way. These are believed to be reinforcement rings for the top of tent pens what we call pegs now, driven into the ground. The ring would be put around the end and that would keep the, the pin from flaring and breaking. And this is very likely a small trunk latch, a trunk hinge. It's not bending anymore, but this would have bent over to close the trunk. And that is pretty much what we have here. <laughs>